Let's be real for a moment. Have you ever felt a sense of bliss at the expense of seeing someone stumble and fall? Have you ever felt the need of laughter as received some hint of happiness when seeing someone embarrassed publicly? Have you ever found yourself rejoicing at the expense of another person's destruction? Have you ever heard yourself say, I told you so? Because the individual failed to heed your advice or commandment. Do you ever find yourself looking at someone in a lower state and it gives you an inkling of self-worth? Have you ever felt better about yourself when you see a person that was once mighty become a weak? Have you ever found yourself speaking ill about those individuals that seem perfect and it gives you a sense of authority because you always felt that you knew something was wrong with them. If any of those questions made you hesitate and think, you maybe need a little bit more of God. You too are in need of being cleansed. You too are in need of being delivered and redeemed from some things that are laying dormant in you. Some things that are strapped within the seat of your heart needs to be extracted. If you're anything like me, you saw yourself doing many of those things, sometime or the other. And if you are one who's going to justify, I advise you to stop watching and or listening to this video. Because this video is for those individuals who are willing to recall, who are willing to renounce, who are willing to release, and who are willing to renew. This is for the other germane mullies out there that knows that in order for us to get to a place in God that God desires for us, we ought to dig deep and get rid of that mire that has been clouding our true essence. That muck that has become so thick that it holds itself to the walls and blocks the flow of our true goodness. That mud that have covered so well the true nature of our objectivity. If you are anything like me, let us touch and agree in prayer in hopes that God will continue to do that work 
in us to cleanse us from all unrighteousness to renew us again to make us over to give us a heart of flesh to renounce the heart of stone and rebellion to renounce the things that resemble the flesh so it's right now in the name of Jesus that we come before the throne of grace to obtain mercy in our time of need that you God will help us that you will baptize us once again, renew us, uh, and to give us that steadfast spirit. Uh, that you would rid us from the vilest manners of behavior of the flesh. That we would crucify flesh again. That the spirit would now rise three days later on that day, uh, that perfect day, so that we can become the perfection in Christ Jesus. I thank you right now in the name of Jesus that it's now dying, it's dying, it's lying, and now we are raising and rising in the power of God. I speak right now that every place uh, that have been uh, invaded by deceit, uh, invaded by ignorance is now being warded off by the wisdom of God and the cleansing power of the Holy Spirit will purify us again. I speak right now a cleansing of the washing of the word of God and that the blood will be ever so near. Uh, let your blood redeem us again, O oh God, and restore us. Uh, make us that leaf that will stay attached to that tree. Uh, make us that branch that will not wither, but give us the strength to be endurers, to be more than conquerors. Give us that strength right now with our inner man that you would stand, hallelujah, in faith. Uh, we'll stand knowing that God endows and imbues us with power from on high. Uh, power to escape that which used to trip us up and pull us down. We renounce right now every ancestral spirit, every generational curse, every taproot, every uh, bitter place that have been seeping the roots of our trees and plants. I speak right now that our fields have now been cleansed and the wind of the glory of the Holy Spirit now blows hallelujah right now in the name of Jesus send and employ your angels to war on our behalf that they will minister to us in those seasons when we feel weak in the name of Jesus I declare that you are God the almighty Jehovah uh, that sit high and look low as El Elian judge those right now that are pulling us by the ankle pulling us into the mire pit pulling us back into the vomit, pull us back into the things that we've renounced. Now, God, in the name of Jesus, yeah, give us the mind to do right and to live right and to be holy. I speak right now in the name of Jesus that the devil is a liar. And I speak even now uh, to the spirit. Hallelujah, your people that do hear exactly what the Spirit is saying. I come right now against everything that I've been pushing itself in the airways. The Prince of the Power here is rebuke. And there's no ground over the airways and the sound waves will not be affected. I speak right now in the name of Jesus. Clarity right now with the vibrations of heaven and that the angels will declare holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty and we shall agree with it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. No hesitation, no doubt, but we shall run this race with our eyes fixed on Jesus. I thank you right now for your power uh, to redeem and to deliver. Now, God, we assert it to be true. We agree and affirm it in the name of Jesus. We establish your principles in our life and we hide it right now in our hearts that we may not sin against it, that the gates be open for the King of Glory to come in cleanse and marinate and sweep out every dust and dirt and every mm, unclean thing that may be slithering and creeping around in the corridors of our hearts and minds. I speak in the name of Jesus that that seated place, that apex place of our beings is not that inhabited by you and your Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost power, take control. Consume us again in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the enemy has no grounds in our life. Hallelujah. 
that we are victorious in the name of Jesus for you are big, strong and mighty and therefore we give it all to you we ascribe all the power, the glory uh, back onto you that you can do what you wish in Jesus name we decree and declare it, establish it right now over the reformation declare it right now that we'll be able to see and hear the clarion call and receive your gifts. Amen.